According to legend, Moll Dyer was a mysterious woman that lived in a cottage outside of then Seymour Town, now named Leonard Town. In warmer months, she would wander the forest and collect plants to make herbal remedies. The winter of 1697 saw two horrifying events occur in Seymour Town. A blizzard so cold that it left livestock frozen solid, and an outbreak of influenza that had killed many. The remaining townspeople came to the conclusion that Mall Dyer was a witch, and she must have cursed them. Some of the townspeople lit their torches and headed to Mall's cottage. When there, they lit her home on fire and returned home satisfied. They didn't know that Maul had escaped. Maul ran and ran until utterly exhausted. She stopped and kneeled on a large rock, placed one hand on the rock, and raised the other. She then cursed the land and townspeople. Several days later, a boy looking for lost cattle found Maul dead and frozen solid. She was still kneeling on the rock with her hand raised to the heavens. The following years, the crops in the area failed. It is said that Maul haunts the area where her cottage stood, looking for the men that set her home aflame. Also, an unusually high number of lightning strikes are recorded in the area and a white dog is said to cause car wrecks on Mall Dyer Road. In 1970, a man was hunting near Mall Dyer's Run, a local river, when he saw a thick fog in the shape of a cylinder with light emanating out of it. He said the fog moved against the wind. In 1972, a newspaper writer named Philip Love wanted to find Mall Dyer's Rock. He asked around and eventually found it. He had the 875 pound rock moved to Leonard Town's courthouse in front of the old jailhouse. The rock was said to have indents from Maul's knees and hand. The indents are now gone, but people say that the rock itself is cursed, and if anyone goes near it, will become dizzy and faint. There is some evidence that Mall Dyer might be more than just a legend. In an 1892 edition of St. Mary's Beacon, a Joseph F. Morgan wrote that Mall had lived in Seymour Town for years, and her home was burned down during the time when Cotton Mather held sway in the land of the Puritans. There were several witch trials that took place between 1654 and 1712 in Maryland, one being in a neighboring county where a woman named Rebecca Fowler was hanged for being a witch on October 9, 1685. Immigration records show that a Mary Dyer went to Southern Maryland in 1677. Mall is a nickname for Mary. Also, there is a record of a great epidemic occurring in Southern Maryland in 1697. Are you brave enough to visit Leonardtown, to drive down Mall Dyer Road, to kayak Mall Dyer's Run, and to sit on Mall Dyer's Rock? Love.